in this installment of Old Car Auto Guy, we are going to be taking the opportunity to apply a ceramic coating to my wife's 2013 Hyundai Veloster. Now, you've probably all seen the ads on Facebook or on Instagram of how these ceramic coatings work and they're throwing dirty water on a car. Well, in this episode, you're going to see firsthand just how easy and or tough this stuff is to apply, as well as the end result. So stay tuned. But before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. So guys, what we have today is a ceramic coating, which is something that can be found on eBay, Amazon, and it's called Mr. Fix 9H Auto Ceramics. And this isn't exactly a sponsored video, but it kind of is. My buddy Aaron just bought himself a 2018 Ford truck, and he wanted me to be the guinea pig on this product. So he bought two of them, one for me to test out, one for him. Aaron is a buddy of mine, and uh, I don't hold against him the fact that he is a Joey Logano fan, that he likes the Patriots, and if he followed hockey, he'd probably be a Bruins fan too. What can you do? You can't pick your friends, right? Wait, you can, and I did. He's a great guy. So we're gonna test it out on Mama's rig and see just how easy this is. So when you open up the box, you're going to get the auto ceramic coating, foam pad, some applicator wipes, and the instructions, but who needs those? So we're going to do this test and we're going to uh, see how it works out. And uh, there's a, there is a couple of steps that we do have to do to prep the vehicle before we apply this. So let's get to it. So very first thing we have to do is wash this, get the bugs off of it, get it all cleaned and dried off. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we've got it washed, we've got it dried, and the reason why we dry it for two reasons. One, we've got hard water here, so if we don't dry it off, we're gonna get water spots. But that's besides the point, because we're gonna be applying a coating to the paint to help protect it, therefore it's gotta be dry. The next step, according to the instructions, which yes, I did read, is they want a perfectly clean surface. Now, they recommend polishing it and then rubbing it down with isopropyl alcohol to give yourself that clean surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass the buffing or the polishing part of that step simply because we've already done that to this car. We did not wax it. We just used a buffing polish to help get rid of some scratches. So therefore, we are kind of ahead of the game. Washing it down, getting rid of all the dust and grime is the main thing. Couple of things you want to keep in mind, do not do this in direct sunlight. Do not do this on a windy day or anywhere where there's dust because you don't want that dust embedding itself into the paint surface once you apply this coating. So now that we've got the vehicle all ready for the isopropyl uh, wash down, that's what we're going to do next. 
So I've got my isopropyl alcohol and I've got a clean microfiber rag and we're just going to wipe down the car with, until it hazes and then with another clean microfiber we're going to wipe down the haze. washed down with isopropyl alcohol and wiped off any haze that, or residue that might be left over. Now it's time to apply the coating. So because this is a coating and I don't know what's in it, I'm going to be wearing some gloves just to protect my skin. Mostly because I'm a whip, but you just never know what kind of chemicals are in these coatings and whether or not they can be harmful to the skin. Now this stuff comes from China. so. I don't know. We're going to try it. So like I said, we've got this little foam applicator. It's just like a dense foam on this side and kind of a sponge on the top. And we've got this, I guess, what you call a rag of some sort. It looks like toilet paper. But anyways, the idea is that we're supposed to take this and kind of wrap it around the applicator pad and then we apply the coating two or three drops of that until it's basically saturated and then we start in small sections overlapping in a left to right and then an up and down motion until the entire surface is covered. So for the purposes of this video I'm going to show you the product on the hood. After the video is done I'm going to continue doing the entire car. So we just don't want this to go on all day. Q time lapse. So the instructions aren't really, really clear, um, but what, from what I can gather, it looks like it was a direct Chinese translation into English and leaving out certain words and using the wrong word in certain descriptive parts of the instructions. So what I can gather is it says take a clean, dry uh, microfiber cloth, get it wet, wring it out so that it is, you know, almost all the water is out of it. And then it wants you to wipe down the ceramic coating in circular motions. And then once that is done, you go back with a dry microfiber cloth and wipe down any haze that's left over. So I guess that's what we're going to do now. So there you have it. There is the Mr. Fix 9H ceramic coating. Um, when you buy this, this is roughly somewhere probably around 10 or 12 bucks uh, on Amazon or eBay. I'm not sure exactly why Aaron paid for it, but it didn't cost me anything. Um, he got me an extra one to try it out, make sure that it wasn't going to be harmful on the paint for his brand new Ford F-150. So the long and the short of it is, it seems like it's a pretty decent process. If you're going to give your car a coat of wax, you're going to have to wash it and dry it anyway. Um, if you're going to use a, a, a pneumatic buffer or an electric buffer on the surface, then you're going to have to go over it, clean it anyway. So there's a few steps involved in doing this. If it's just going to be like a coat of wax, the benefit of this over wax is supposed to be, this is a once a year application whereas wax is only guaranteed to last for a month or two, maybe three at the most, depending on what you're using. So how can I rate this product? The biggest thing with this product is I've never heard of it before until now. Granted, I've seen a ton of these commercials on Instagram and Facebook and, and uh, in YouTube videos of how this stuff is supposed to work. And, um, you know, we're going to have to wait and see just exactly how it lasts over the course of 30 days, 90 days, and maybe even a year. So uh, we'll have to do some follow-ups on this car. And uh, one of the things I would like to do uh, before too long is to get this thing sprayed down with water. Now the instructions do specify not to wash the car um, or clean the car after 
you, you do it for approximately three days because it takes that long apparently to set up. So I want to know what you guys think of ceramic coatings. Do you think they work? Don't you? Leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know how you feel. That is going to do it for this episode of Old Car Auto Guy. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button as well as commenting in the comment section below. If you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. I am still looking for that right person who can send me a video graphic or custom intro song or music to add to these videos. We're gonna do some sort of a prize. You will get 100% of the credit. So if you guys are talented, I want it to come from my subscribers and uh, my contact information as always is in the description box below. Guys, always stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys, God bless. We will see you in the next upload.